And with this, you can understand the language of our sages. That a, that by the middlemen, the benunim, this one and this one judge them. That is to say, both the good inclination and the bad inclination. Like it says, that uh, he stands uh, to the right of the pauper to save him from those that are judging his soul. So, uh, according to the simple meaning, David HaMelech is uh, talking about people like Shaul and Avshalom that want to uh, chase after him and hurt him. But in a, in a deeper sense, the Shufte Nafsho, or the judges of the soul, the, the, the Yetzers, and Hashem stands to the right side of the person to save them from these judges. And it doesn't say this one and this one rule over him, God forbid. Because when there is some kind of ruling or controlling of, that the Yetzirah has in the small city, even if it's only for a small moment. The person is called wicked in that time. But rather, the bad inclination is only like a judge. An arbitrator that says his opinion in the judgment. But nonetheless, it's possible that we're not going to paskin like him. Lamai says, in, in, in actuality, to, to do what he says. Because there's another judge that argues with him, and you have to arbitrate between them. And the halacha is like the one who uh, is, arbitrates, the, the third party that arbitrates and decides the final decision. So, too. This is what happens. The Yitzhar says their opinion in the left side of the heart. And from the heart, it goes up to the mind to think about it. And immediately, the second judge argues on that. And that that's the divine soul that's in the, in the mind. That spreads out from the mind into the right side of the heart, the dwelling place of the good inclination. And so, the uh, the, the air of of and, and the the coolness of the brain and the lungs uh, cool off the um, heat of the blood of in the right side in the left side of the heart of Yitzhar, in the Yitzhar heart and controls it. Whereas the Yitzhar comes up in, in it with its heat and desires from the, blo the blood in the left side of the heart up to the brain. And the halacha is like the words of the arbitrator, that's the Holy One Blessed Be He. It's not the person themselves, but rather the third judge is the Holy One Blessed Be He. That it helps the good inclination. Why is that? Because, our, like our sages said, that if it wasn't for the Holy One, blessed be He, that helps you, that helps Him, you would not be able to overcome Him. So, what is this help that Akadosh Baruch Hu gives the person to overcome the Yetzir Hara? Who um, that is a light of Hashem that shines onto the divine soul. To have an extra uh, control over the foolishness of the fool, and, and the bad inclination. 
and just like the greatness of light over darkness, like we said that light naturally has a, 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 a stronger effect than, than darkness, that the darkness is pushed away when there's light. So to here we're saying that there's a extra, because of this light that's there from Hashem, the Yetzir Tov is able to overcome in, in, in the judgment. Like, like we said that the, there needs to be a Ruach Shtus that's like the seal that comes in to uh, overtake when a person doesn't aware. Because a person usually can overtake that foolishness with his light. But since the bad that's in the left side of the heart in the Benoni is still in its strength like it was born, to desire in its desires all the pleasures of this world, and um, was not nullified in the amount in comparison to the good, like he brought in the previous chapters, that in Bayatadik, the bad it starts to, to go away and become nullified to the good, whether in 60 or 100 and so forth. But in Abinani, it's not nullified at all. And it's not pushed away out of its place at all. It's still there in full strength. Only that it doesn't have a control or a ruling to actually spread out into the limbs of the body because of this third judge because because of the Holy One Blessed Be He that stands to the right side of the pauper and helps and shines to the Divine Soul that's why this person is called like a wicked person because they don't actually ever do anything wicked it's just that inside of them, internally, their wickedness is still there. Just like we brought in the very beginning of Tanya, the first question that even if the whole world asks you, it says to you that you're that you're righteous, you should still be in your own eyes as if you're a wicked person. Not that you actually view yourself as a wicked person, but rather you consider yourself like a benoni. Don't believe below lahamin lahaolam, and not to believe in the world, this world that says shomrim shar ashabod nispat legabiatov, that says that the bad that's in you has become has become nullified to the good. Shizuma derega sadik that that's the level of a sadik. Ela yibe enov, but rather you should be in your own eyes ki ilu muhusovets muso shalara, as if the essence and being of the bad. Is in its strength and uh, its might in the left side, just as it was from the beginning. And it didn't go away at all. And exactly the opposite, this bad inclination has become stronger over time. As it's used a lot, in eating and drinking, and all other matters of this world, even even if it doesn't actually get to spread out into the limbs of the body, and even if somebody whose desire is the Torah of Hashem, and is constantly studying it day and night, lishma for the proper reason. This is not a proof at all that the bad has been moved from its place. But it could be that its essence and being is still as strong and as mighty. In its place, in the left side, only that the garments, which are thought, speech, and action, shall never show Bahamis of the animalistic soul. Are not included in the in the mind and in the mouth to speak and in the uh, hands and other limbs of the body to, for action. 
mipni havaya shenasan shlita mimshala lemoach al alev, and that is because of Hashem who has given the rulership of, of the mind over the heart. And therefore, the divine soul that's in the mind rules over the small city. The limbs of the body, all of them, that they should be a garment and a chariot to its three garments, of the, the three garments of the divine soul. That should be clothed in those garments. Which are the thoughts, speech, and action? Shall tayag mitzvas mitzvas of the six hundred thirteen mitzvas of the Torah, of al mehus of atz musa shall never shalukis. But the essence and being of the divine soul, soul in la shlita mimshala, does not able is not ruling. Al mehus al mehus of atz musa shall never shabamis on the essence and being of the animalistic soul, the benoni and the benoni. He im bishas bishas ha'avas Hashem who be skalus libo only at certain times when the love of Hashem is in a revealed state in the heart be itim izumanim in set times kemo bishas atfila ukiotzebel ukiotzebel like the time of prayer and the like vaf gamzo sapam inarak shlito mimshal alavad and even this is only that it gets to rule um, alone in control alone kedichsiv. It's like two nations who grapple with each other and, and try to overcome each other. That one, when run, one becomes stronger, the other one falls. But conversely, when this one gets up, the other falls. That, uh, that the divine soul tries to overcome and and be stronger than the animalistic soul, be mekor hagvuros, in its source of strictnesses and strengths. Where is the source of the gvuros to overcome it? There, shehi bina, that bina is the source of the gvuros. Now, it says that bina dina mis arin mina, that there are judgments that are awakened from bina, but bina itself, understanding in the mind, uh, that's where you judge things, but uh, it itself is not judgments, because the judgments that you can't uh, overcome are the emotions. But bina, which is intellect, is above that. That's the the shvira. The shvira sakelim is only in the midos, not in the mochin, and therefore you can sweeten the judgments with in in bina. Lisbon and megdula savaya, in contemplation of the greatness of Hashem. Means of baruch the infinite may be blessed. And to have uh, give birth from one's contemplation to a strong love from Hashem, like flames of fire. It's like it's the concept of gvuros kedoshos, the holy gvuros, that comes the the strict strengths from bina. Bechalal hayamini shibelibo in the right side of the heart. Like uh, the the air that fans the flames of fire of love, instead of the the fire of desire from from the left side of the heart of blood. That be, so because you created this fire inside you from the right side of the heart, from your contemplation in the greatness of Hashem. Then you subjugated the and pushed the other side. That's in the left side of the heart. And it's and it, it's now ruling and in control, like when you're in your in your tefillah. Avalot nispat the legamani bebenuni, but is it is not been nullified completely in a benuni. Ela bit sadik only by a sadik. She neamar bo that it says about him. Eli bi chalal bekir bi that my heart is empty inside of me. Vehu moes bera and this sadik despises the bad v'son or betachlis and hates it completely. Betachlis asina and the the complete hatred, vehamius, and revulsion, or shalor betachlis asina kanal, or not complete uh, hatred, like we said, depending on the level of the tzaddik. Aval be benuni hu derech mashol, but by a benuni, this is compared like a person she yashon that's sleeping. She yach lachzor uveleor veleyeor mishinaso that can return and wake up from their sleep. 
כך הרע בבינוני הוא כישן בחלל השמאלי, so to the bad that's in a בינוני is like sleeping in the left side of the heart, בשעס קרי שמה ותפילה during the time of שמה and תפילה שליבו בוער, באהבה סוויה, that their heart is uh, burning with the love of השם. It's the one in control now. And afterwards, the animalistic uh, desires can, and the Yitzhar Hara can wake up again. And now we're answering us another que a question brought in, in the first parak. How could Rabba hold himself a Benuni? And th for this reason, Rabba held himself like a Benuni after the even though he never stopped um, his, his mouth never stopped uh, saying Torah and like he said that, that, uh, that his desire was in Hashem's Torah day and night with desire and longing v'chuka and and wanting the nefesh shokeka and a soul that uh, thirsts love I am with to Hashem ba'avaraba with a great love kibishas kriyashma v'tefila like at the time of shman kriyashman prayer v'nidma beinav kibenuni and he uh, imagined that in his eyes that he was a, like a benuni hamispalal kolayom that's praying the whole day. Like our sages said, like our sages said, kol hayom kulo. That if it, it's only the person would, if only a person would pray, the entire throughout the entire day. So that's a state of where the, he thought, perhaps the Yitzhar is always sleeping because I'm always in a state of prayer. But as soon as I stop praying, chas v'shalom, it would wake up. So that's how he imagined himself like a benoni. Now this attribute of love that we're saying is an abenuni at the time of prayer. Through the uh, strengthening of the divine soul and so forth, where the Yetzirah is like sleeping and so f and, and, and the like. So maybe that's like a tzaddik. So, but the truth is, that state of the Benuni in comparison to an actual tzaddik that is serving Hashem be'em islam mitu an actual truth and have actually pushed out the bad in bechinas ahavazu nekres b'shem avudas emes klal this service is not called a true service at all macha shecholef zveo ver esacharat fila because it um, changes and goes away after prayer so if it was really true so it would never go away something that's truth is truth forever but since it's it's like a falsehood that it, it it's fake it's faking that afterwards it it uh, goes away. Like it says, the lip of truth um, is established forever, and the pasuk says, "Va'ad argia." And forever uh, quells the language of falsehood. Meaning to say that something of, that's true will stand forever. And, some, and, and that, if it's, not, if it's not forever, then it's a Lashon Shaker. That this fuss, so so meaning to say that when when something is said, this fa, the the safa, the the lips that say truth, that's something that will stand, but the the tongue of falsehood won't stand the test of time. Now the Friedrich Rebbe brings that there's three levels of truth. There's the fuss emes, which is the lip of truth. There's the level of emes, and then there's emes lamito, there's three levels. So, even sfas emes tikun but we're saying 
But we're saying that really, but the Alter says, but the, really it's relative. That to the Benini, according to the level of the Benini, it's called a complete service in truth. And their uh, truly truth, in, in their double measure of truth to them, that to them it's the complete truth. So each person according to their level. In the uh, levels of the Benonim. And I call their love that's in their prayer also a And I call their love that's in their prayer also this verse that the lip, the, the lip of truth, their words are coming in from a truthful place. Tikkun Lad and stands forever. Forever, why? What? What kind of forever do they have? Because it's in the ability of their divine soul. Can, they can always renew and wake up this love forever. When it becomes stronger during the time of prayer, daily. Through the proper. Preparation to also to, to, for each soul, so that's their so to speak forever that they have. Like it's brought in another place about the idea of meodecha that it's your meod, it's what's beyond you. Similarly, here we're saying that the ms, the, the fact that you can awaken awaken this each time, is a certain can, can gives a certain continuity to it and truth to it. Like we're saying of Svas Amos. And according to the level and measure of the soul, he named me this Amos, he me does so Yaakov, because now this attribute of truth is the attribute of Yaakov, that's called the middle pole. Uh, in the in the Mishkan, you have two poles that that are two halves of a pole on top and the bottom that only reach halfway across the Mishkan. But the middle pole goes all the way through that goes from end to end. And spiritually, this reaches from the highest heights at Sof Kol Dargin to the end of all levels. And as it goes through each level, it passes, it traverses the middle point, which is the point and attribute of MS of that attribute. So you can have a higher level of MS and you can have a lower level of MS because on each level that we're talking about, that each person, according to each person, you have that middle point, that the level they're on, their their truth is in the middle point of their level. And the attribute of truth is an inheritance without boundary, meaning it can be expressed um, in many ways, in, in boundless ways. And it doesn't have a measure above to the highest heights. And all the lower levels are incomparable to the higher levels of truth that are above it. That are above them. And as is known to the Kabbalist, that the concept of the head and the mind of the lower levels, they're below the concept of the heels, and um, the, the feet, the, and below the, below the level of feet that are that of the levels that are above them. Like our sages said in Chagiga, that when comparing levels to levels, 
the higher level, the next highest level is connected kulan, is equivalent to the mal. So as it goes up to the, in, in, in the in, by the malachim, shoke chayos connected kulan, ragle chayos connected kulan, karsulia chayos connected kulan. As you go up from one level to the next, the the higher level is is each time connected kulan is is equivalent to the them all, all the all the entirety of the lower levels. And that's like we're pointing out here with the concept of MS, that in, in truth, that therefore the Benoni uh, has a truth in his service to Hashem, even though he hasn't pushed away the um, the bad like the tzaddikim. And this is this point is also important for Rabba to imagine himself uh, like a Benoni. That to, to, that if because if the Ben Indi didn't have any truth, then he couldn't consider himself a Benoni because he would have the truth. But since he did have a concept of truth, so per, that perhaps also could mislead him that he was a he was a Benoni, even though in truth he had the Emes Lamito, the the higher truth of the Tzadi. But again, he would imagine that he had the lower truth and was like a Benoni that davened all day. That if he would stop davening, this truth would go away.